Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 26, 2016, and we've been receiving information this morning pertaining to above ground explosions that are registering at the USGS like they're earthquakes. And an above ground explosion, when it's detected by the USGS, at this point in time, this is suspect for meteors exploding in the Earth's atmosphere related to the asteroid story that we took a lot of heat from. We've also documented meteors photographed by our Nibiru watchers all over the United States, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Anyways, we have some more of this information by photograph coming in over the last few days. Meteors spotted burning up in the atmosphere. Absolutely a fantastic sight. We also had a Nibiru watcher that recorded a meteor burning up in the nighttime sky over Southern California, and we're going to get to that video in a few seconds. Yesterday at about 6.30 p.m., I myself heard something very odd and stepped outside and literally saw a smoke trail over my house that basically dissipated into thin air. Now, this is the video that came in approximately 24 hours ago from Southern California, and this is the meteor burning up in the nighttime sky. So stay tuned and watch this. What is it? I don't know what that is. No, no, it was it split up. Look at that. It has a stream like like a, like a comet. Well, that was some fantastic video. I want to send a shout out and a thank you to the young man in Southern California that sent that in. And we're still receiving photographs in the daytime sky of people photographing the meteor fragments burning up in the atmosphere. Now, this is definitely a very amazing photograph. Steve Olson from WSO, Planet X researcher, sent this photograph to me yesterday. And look at the size of those three rocks. They're massive. Compared to the white circle in the center of the screen, which is the size of the sun, compared to the size of those asteroids, those are massive. When studying this photograph, you can easily see that the largest asteroid is quite larger than Earth. That would have been a devastating situation to go through. And once again, I want to thank Steve Olson at WSO for sending that photograph in. And folks, if you have not visited his YouTube channel, definitely make a point to head over to WSO and subscribe to Steve's channel. Uh, he and Wayne Steiger have an absolutely fantastic show, very scientific information. And let's get back into some photographs here that were sent in by some of our subscribers. This photograph came in this morning, one of the first emails that I opened up. Absolutely amazing photograph. This photograph, I believe, is definitely showing the red kachina. You could see kind of a green hue around that photograph. Really amazing photographs. I'm telling you folks, they're coming in by the hour and they're amazing. The next series of photographs are what we think are possible plasma discharges from planet X, Nibiru, possibly any planet that is very near us at the moment. These planets are very highly electromagnetically charged. These plasma bursts have been very well documented by another Planet X Nibiru researcher. His YouTube channel is called Jeff P, like the initial P. And he gives very detailed information and photographs pertaining to these plasma bursts. The photograph that you're looking at right now just looks like a blur in the photograph. But after listening to Jeff and seeing some of these photographs, we have determined that because of the very fast rotation of this planet, this is why some of these photographs have that kind of blur. Now here are more photographs of the electromagnetic plasma bursts that have been recorded in a few of these webcam, skycam uh, telescopes, and they're absolutely amazing. Now, I'm not sure if any of the other Nibiru Planet X researchers have ever caught this on video, but... We definitely have it in photographs. Now, the researcher, Jeff P., that I mentioned to you, he's done extensive work already on these plasma bursts. He has extensive knowledge and experience when dealing with this subject. So I would definitely check out his YouTube channel. We've been receiving more photographs in of this new planet, and that's why 
I keep calling it a new planet because I have not seen any photographs of this planet until today. We've already published some of these photographs in our first video for the day. We do have more of these photographs coming in, and they're really freaking me out because that's a large planet by the moon. The same Nibiru researcher that sent us the photographs sent in two infrared photographs that were amazing. Now, I want to get into this photograph because this came from the All Sky Cam Network. One of our Nibiru watchers sent it in to us. I just can't make out what this is. It looks like a large metallic rock. I mean, we've looked at this photograph every which way, folks. We've placed it up on a large 60-inch flat screen TV, computer screen. I mean, the detail in it is, is pretty incredible. You can tell it's very metallic. I mean, we just don't know what this photograph is. To me, it resembles some type of an odd-shaped asteroid, but if that type of a rock would be seen by one of these all sky cam telescopes, well, it would have fallen to Earth already. So we don't know what that photograph is. If anyone has any idea, let us know in the comment section. I want to thank all of our Nibiru watchers. You guys are doing a fantastic job. Love you to death. Keep your photographs and videos coming in to Nibiru Planet X 2016 at gmail.com. And don't forget to share our videos with your friends and family members on Facebook. Don't forget to subscribe to the Nibiru channel for all of our current updates. And like I always say, keep an eye in the sky. Hello everybody, welcome back to the Nibiru channel. It is September 26, 2016, and we've been receiving information this morning pertaining to above-ground explosions that are registering at the USGS like they're earthquakes. And an above-ground explosion, when it's detected by the USGS, at this point in time, this is suspect for meteors exploding in the Earth's atmosphere related to the asteroid story that we took a lot of heat from. We've also documented meteors photographed by our Nibiru watchers all over the United States, Australia, New Zealand, Canada. Anyways, we have some more of this information by photograph coming in over the last few days. 